On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Lizard Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. Welcome to episode number 4 of On Drop Rate. In this one I want to get into the video really quick because everything is now explained for the series, the changes to the rules and everything, and what we're going to do in the beginning of this video. Why I'm saying beginning is I'm expecting this to be a pretty fast grind and it is King Black Dragon. The item we're going to go for is the KBD Heads. I was initially contemplating maybe going for the pets or the Dragon Visage, but that would take probably weeks. So I'm just going to do the KBD Head as this one activity, and this is thanks to one of you guys leaving a comment on my last video giving me the idea to do this. And let's see if we can get lucky and get the head. Getting the Visage or the pet will not count towards winning this challenge. So only the KBD heads matter, but if I do get the Visage and I do not get the heads, I have quite a hefty amount to give away. Now before we get into the video, of course I want to do the giveaway from my last video of the 7.6 million as I did fail the Berserker Ring challenge. And on my last video, on the second day now of posting it, it has 73 entries and I have filtered the duplicate comments, you can see that right there on the top. But let's go ahead and start and see who is going to be winning the 7.6 million. Let's click and the winner is... Let's have a look at this. Vashkar. And he said that I should be killing demonic gorillas. I might do that in the near future. That's a pretty good one. But uh, yeah, I will be contacting you and giving you the 7.6 million. But here it is, the trade of the 7.6 million, the first winner of the on drop rate series, congratulations to you. Probably a lot more winners to come in the future. Now when it comes to gearing, I'm going to be going with a melee method and therefore we're going to be buying the Dragon Hunter Lance, which I think is not super expensive right now, 77 million, it says 76 million here. It is not that bad and I can just sell it back afterwards anyways, it should not have dropped that much in price, might even go up, you never know. And this is going to make a big difference in the grind and I basically just copied the setup they recommend on Rune Wiki or the old school RuneScape Wiki in general because I don't really know KBD strategies that well, so I think this is going to be fine. But we are just about to get into the kills, but I have currently 22 kill counts and that means with 128 kills, which is the drop rate of the KBD heads, we're going to end at exactly 150 kill count in this video, which is a pretty nice mark to end at, but uh, yeah, let's see if we can get the heads. Oh my god, look at all these medium combat tasks, that is the first kill for the grind and I really am kind of curious how many kills we're going to be getting per trip, just keep getting these pop-ups, but... Uh, yeah, it seems like I'm doing really good damage with this weapon. I'm not really taking that much damage. But uh, I'll get back to you guys when I know how many kills I got in this trip. Hopefully I don't die here. I have no food left. And this is kill number 12, which is actually not bad at all. I think 12 kills every trip is pretty good. But I think I can push that a bit further. I'm going to try to swap out my torture for a blood amulet of fury. Fury is, of course, a bit more tanky. As well as me getting a good amount of heals probably from the big hits I'm getting with the Dragon Hunter Lance could make a big difference. So let's see if we can beat 12 on the next trip when I bring a Blood Amulet of Fury. Alright, so this is now the second trip. I have my Blood Amulet of Fury on and this KBD kill right here is actually kill number 13 for the trips. I already beat the previous one, but... I did actually get a shark drop of 4 sharks, which obviously is going to skew it a bit, and I have only 4 manta rays left, so it is kinda looking like it's pretty equal, and I think the kills are a bit slower of course, because I have a fury instead of a torture, so I will probably try another trip with the blood amulet of fury, but uh, the torture might actually be better. This right here is going to be the exact halfway point of this grind, the kill number 64 for some iron arrows. And yeah, it is not a very eventful grind. I'm going to be putting the loot for 64 kills on the screen right now. 
So you can see overall, without getting any more rares or anything like that, I am going to be getting like 2.6 million from this, roughly. But uh, hopefully we can get something very interesting soon. Well, 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 would you look at that? Dragonstone. That is not on the normal drop table, that's 1 in 1000. Oh, and here I am thinking we were not going to be getting it. I'm actually pretty far in. I'm 110 kills in. We got it on 110. 132 on the counter right there. We started with 22. Nice, we actually won this challenge. So let's get on to something else. The loot from this was not great anyways, but from this next one, it potentially could be. But before we get into the next thing, let's have a look at the log, of course. There it is. The KBD heads. We only need the pet and the visage. I say only. But that is a quite a thing to grind. I might go for it in the future, who knows. But for now, that's where we're going to end the log on that boss. But I'm now geared up for the next activity we're going to do. And if you've done this before, you might know what this is going to be. This is going to be the Watch Sentinels. They have a 1 in 1500 drop rate of the Blood Shard. Which is actually going up a lot in price right now. And they drop a decent amount of clues, 1 in 100. So we're going to do a bunch of those as well. I'm going to start off this grind by actually trying to not use any prey potions. I'm going to be staying here by the altar. It actually just drains some HP, 3 HP every time you use it. And you can just stay here forever, no need to use prey potions. But the downside, of course, is that it is a bit less AFK because sometimes you actually have to move out and tag them because they don't always run into this room. So it's a bit inconvenient. So I might actually later down the road because it is going to be a lot of kills go outside with just normal prayer pots. Usually when I have a bigger grinds, I do one hour of testing just to see how many kills an hour I'm getting and uh, just to see how long basically the grind is going to take. And uh, I've done a one hour now, the loot is on the screen and that is 118 an hour, which means if I go all the way to 1500, this is roughly a 13 hour grind. Would you look at that? A clue scroll hard. Yes, they are 1 in 100, so I'm actually a bit unlucky on that, but we're going to do all of them. Thought this might be actually kind of cool to show. I'm getting 98 defense here. One more hit, there we go. 98 defense. And on this character, I'm actually, or this account you could say, I'm actually really close to maxing out all the combat stats. I have basically only defense left, and then after that, prayer. My prayer is around 81 or 82, I think. But all of that is just money. Like, if you have a bunch of money, you can just buy a bunch of bones and basically just slam it out in, like, 10 hours or something, I'm pretty sure. Maybe, probably less than that, honestly. So, that's also a 99 I could get, just as long as I have the money for it. I want to direct your attention to this guy right here, Samurai PR. He actually has over 40 accounts that he only farms blood shards on, as far as I know. He's in my Discord and he's linked pictures of completing, for example, this on the screen right now. Like, a bunch of waterfall quests at the same time. That's some insane multitasking. So far, I've actually been really lucky with hard clue scrolls. By the way, as the last video, the last time I did clue scrolls, all the loot will be included as monster drops at the end of the video. But we have now arrived at the halfway point, 750 kills. And the defense experience is coming in great. Actually going to probably get fairly close to halfway to 99 during this grind, which is not bad at all. We have actually, if you look at the loot as well, look at the bottom, I've got 8 clue scrolls so far from 750 kills, which is almost exactly on drop rate, so that is very nice to see. Slightly lucky actually, to be honest, but uh, there's going to be a good amount of clue scrolls to open at the end of this. This wire watch right here is very special, it is wire watch number 1000 of the grind. And now we are slightly unlucky with clue scrolls actually, we have only got 9 so far, so nothing too great since 750. But still a decent amount of clue scrolls, but uh, after this we have 500 more to go. But we are two thirds of the drop rate and we have not got it yet. So it is not looking that good right now. I actually have to do a quest for this clue scroll. That was a long time ago on my main account since I actually had to do that. But uh, I need to finish Fairy Tale 2 to be able to talk to the Fairy Queen because right now she is sleeping or maybe uh, she's hurt right here. But it is a pretty quick quest, so that should not be that big of a deal. And uh, yeah, I do want to do all the clue scrolls that I can. 
All right, make sure I don't drink it. Use it on the queen. And after, I suppose, some dialogue, that should be the end of the... Well, okay, I, I can just do the clues gone now. Interesting, but of course we're going to complete the quest as well. Even got the casket on that one, so very nice. That is a casket and the completion of Fairy Tales Part 2, which is nice to have. I don't think I have that many quests left overall on this account. 243 quest points. And some nice XP, I guess. Can you use this on anything? So use it on agility. 2.5k. Yeah, it's something at least. So I had never got this clue step before. It says I have to go anywhere in Ubiscus. And I just had no idea what that was. So I googled it. And it's actually in the new quest that was kind of recently released. The Land of the Goblins. And that is a pretty lengthy quest, if I remember correctly. I think this one. And I don't have this requirement either, so I am just going to skip this one, unfortunately. Which means we're going to have one less clue scroll than what the end uh, loot is going to be. But I don't feel like doing like a one hour detour just to do that one clue scroll. Well guys, I have to say it is not looking good. <laughs> Let me show you the tracker on Runelight. 1499 kills. And no blood shard from this grind so far. This is my last chance right here. Let's see if we're going to win or lose this challenge. That is the last one. And coins is the last one. Very unfortunate we did lose this. Meaning I will have to give away half of the money from the loot that I got from these. Which is roughly 2.2 million. But also I am going to open all of the 14 clue scrolls we actually got. Because I could not do one. And all the money from the clue scrolls, I will add to that. I will always do that from now on. All the rewards from the clue scrolls are going to go straight to the giveaway if I do lose. So 2.2 million plus the 14 hard clue scroll caskets we're going to open right now. And here we are. This is all the 14 hard clue scrolls we're going to open from this grind. And as I said, we're going to give it all away to you guys. So let's start off by opening the first one. First one is 123k. Of course, I'm tracking everything on Rune Light. Rune Defender Ornament Kit. Pretty interesting. 300k. 143k. 300k again. I'm going to do this Master Clue Scroll after. And if I can complete it, I will include that as well in the giveaway. 49k. That's a bad one. 29k. 89k. 71k. And that is a unique. Interesting. Of course, I'm going to be keeping these items. I'm just going to give away pure cash. But uh, Gothic Sky Shield. Another unique. Last four ones. Pretty mediocre. 62. 16k. Probably the worst hard clue I've seen in a long time. Oh my god. No way. Robin Hood hat? That's that's rare, and that's a lot of money. 1.2 million. 1.2 million. Okay, last one. That's a really cool one. And that's really cool on the ground as well. I gotta pick everything up, but uh, wow. That has to be quite a good amount of money now that we got the Robin Hood hat. That's crazy. Good for the collection log as well. Now, from Hard Clue Scrolls, how it works with the drop rates is that every single rare that you can get, so anything on the collection log really, is 1 in 1625. But because there are so many of them, the chances of getting a unique is pretty common. But the most expensive rare on the entire Hard Clue Scroll table, except the Third Age and the Gilded, which is in the Mega Rare table, is the Robin Hood hat. Which is the 1.2 million one. So I was super lucky there. And of course, I did not get the Bloodshot, so that's going to be given away. But let's do the Master Clue Scroll now and see if we can complete it. Otherwise, let's see how much I have to give away. Actually getting pretty close to done with the Master Clue Scroll. Hopefully I can complete it. This is step number 6, so could be the casket. And very poetic that I actually have to use a Blisterwood Flail on Fallow right now. Because I've been equipped with this most of the video, killing the Vampire Sentinels. So let's do that and see. No, it is not the end. And we have to do the Joral thing. That's usually fine. And there it is. That's the Master Clue Scroll completed. I've only completed, I think, seven of these overall. Yes, yeah, seven. I had a look at this earlier. And the only uniques I have is the bowl wig and the samurai shirt. So uh, let's see what we can get. I do have mim Mimics turned on, so we might get that as well. Let's see what we get. And that is... Ooh, that seems like a lot of value, actually. How much is that? 473k. 
All right, let's see how much I owe you guys. All the clue loot that I got is going to be on the screen right now, and the overall money I am going to be giving away to one of you guys is 6,060,000 GP. And the way you win this is by leaving a comment, liking the video, and being subscribed to my channel. The comment has to include what activity you would like to see in a future video, as well as your RuneScape name. Make sure, by the way, your private is on, otherwise I cannot contact you if you won. Also, if you want to have it on friends, still you can do that, but you need to have my account added otherwise if it takes too long and I can't contact you I will give it to someone else also you can join my discord link to that is always at the top of the description for another way of me contacting you now of course I read through all the comments on my last video on the on drop rate series and I saw some awesome advices from you guys and I have already actually typed down like 25 ideas for things I can do in the series and some of them are overlapping and are actually really good ideas that you guys said that I also thought of and I'm going to be doing some big grinds in the next video so I hope to see you there but until next time guys have a good one take care.